Whee. So guys, that's the engine mount. And this is what failed. Guys, with the new mount fitted, it's time to take the car on a proper drive. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another episode from Salvage Nation. In the last episode on my B58 swapped BMW 118i, which is now an M140 Evo in my books, we had a problem. I broke it, uh, that don't feel right, that does not feel right. And as you saw at the end of that video, I realized that I broke an engine mount. In this episode, I want to get the car into paint, start the bodywork process, but before I do that, I want to make sure that that engine mount gets swapped out, put a new engine mount in, and get the car driving in tip-top condition once again. I've got an engine mount over there. On the car here, I've got to strip down all of this area. It should be an easy enough job, so we're going to start there, and then we can move on with the bodywork. We've got a lot planned in this episode. I hope you enjoy it. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. Let's get into it. Alright you guys, with the skid plate off, you can see this is the bottom of the engine mount is actually oil fills. I might be wrong, if I am, let me know in the comments. And it's literally just one, two, three, three number 10 bolts on that side. And if you look up, I don't know if I can zoom it for you. It's not working. And if you look at the top, this is the top section where I think it's filled. Anyway, let me get this off the car and once it's on the floor, we can examine it and we can try to diagnose why it failed and what exactly failed. So let's get this off the car. So guys, that's the engine mount, and from what I saw yesterday, there it is. Have a look inside. And this is what failed. Get that to focus. As you can see, I shouldn't be able to pull that out with my hands. So this engine mount was no good. It's filled right there. Have a look. Whoop. All right, guys. So just to show you, when I got a like for like part, is used. Um, from the dealership, a brand new one was, I think, 100, and, 100 odd quid. I picked this one up from eBay for 30 pound. From an M140i as well, have a look. Same part, exact same item. As you can see, here's further confirmation. Yeah. When I looked at it yesterday on the floor, in the last episode, this was coming in and out every time you revved like that. It shouldn't be like that, have a look. This one is completely solidified in there. So this unit has failed. This is the unit from the breaker M140. It had some undercarriage damage. So this could have been damaged in the accident, unaware to me when I transferred everything. With the car finally driving, um, it probably just let go. So out with this one, let's get this on the car and get the car back up. Guys, with the new mount fitted, it's time to take the car on a proper drive. And this time I'm gonna push it. I wanna push it and see how it responds. We're gonna leave the kind of built up area of London. I'm heading towards Brighton. Let's see what she can do.
All right, you guys, one last thing I want to try is I want to try a launch control. So I've pulled over. Let me make sure that it's safe. No one's coming. I'm in an old country road. I'm so far away from home. Bloody hell. Okay, so. Just stop in the middle of the road like that. Launch control. Control came. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh <laughs> shit. Okay, okay. Oh god. Oh guys, I made this. We made this. With your help, we done this. Come on. Oh I had the 135 and the 135 was nice, but this is just, oh, just different, it's brutal. Oh, whoever had it before must have mapped this because this is crazy. Man. <laughs> oh. Guys, when's the last time you had a car that puts a smile on your face? This puts a smile on my face every time. And Valentino from V Pets Trims. The steering wheel is just crazy. The handling is good. I didn't just do a replica, guys. It handles, look, I can just, just chuck it in and it just goes. Put a gear down and... Oh, come on. Brutal, brutal. And then you can just look, straight as an arrow. Straight as an arrow. Straight as an arrow. Alright you guys, it's the next day here. How crazy does this car sound and look? I'm very happy with everything that's been done thus far. That engine mount made a massive, massive difference. Trust me, I ragged. <laughs> I ragged this car just to make sure that that engine mount was gonna be perfect and it was perfect. I've had my fun now. I wanna get down to business. We need to get this car painted. But before we can get it painted, we need to get some paint. And I'm gonna take, because this is my pride and joy, I'm headed down to a paint shop down in Rumford. They do really, really good paint matching. They've got an uh, electronic system. So I'm gonna take the car down there, gonna take some parts off. They're gonna match the paint with their computer. And then I'm gonna buy some paint, head back, and then we can start the painting process. Try to get this car into some bodywork. And yeah. We're making great progress guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Press the like button if you are, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Let go. All right, you guys, I've just come down to Complete Car Colors. Um, this is one of the best places in London. I get a lot of paint from there and they've got a machine that will automatically check this um, and it will find a perfect match. That's my petrol cover and I paid 29 quid for half a litre of paint. That's the bad boy. Like I said, I'm gonna be keeping this deep sea blue. I think it's unique. It's an old BMW color. It's been discontinued and you can't get them on the 140s and I wanna be different. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get back to the garage.
All right, you guys, have a look at this. I've gone ahead and I've removed the front bumper off the front of the car and I've removed all the grills, but I've left the parking sensors in because obviously they're gonna get painted as well. I went ahead and I popped in off camera these little washer jet covers. And as you can see, I've had this bumper on the car in primer. This is the way I got it and it's kind of gone a bit discolored, but that's not a problem. Once we start to water sand that, that's just the top layer, that's gonna come off and then we're gonna prep this bumper and make it perfect for paint. As you can see though, I've left the bonnet on the car and that's because, have a look, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but in shipment, yep, right there, it's got a tiny little ding right here. Looking at it from above, you can barely see it, but if you go to the right angle, you can see it there. And I'm being very petty, I want this to be perfect. So um, I spoke with Akil, we're gonna leave this on the car and it makes it easier to bodywork that. And once we do, the bonnet can come off, go on the bonnet stand and we'll be spraying the bonnet. Um, I wanna drop some paint on the inside of the bonnet as well. And then finally, I can put this plastic trim in. So bonnet is gonna be blue, and this plastic trim here is gonna be black. Now, back to the color. I was contemplating, a lot of you guys have been in the comments. I was thinking to go Nardo Gray. I was gonna go military dark green. But you know what? This blue is a discontinued blue. In the future, if I want, I can wrap the car, whatever color I want. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it to this original deep sea blue. It's A76 deep sea blue. It's actually grown on me. Um, the silver, a lot of you guys got in the comments as well. I quite like the silver on the blue. That contrast really works. But if I close that, have a look at the blue on the gloss black. If I step back, that really works. I've got the tints on the windows. I've got the black alloys. I've got the carbon fiber wing. And I feel like it just works with this blue and it's gonna be a unique M140 Evo. That's what I'm calling it. Thank you guys for getting in the comments, but it's gonna be just unique because you cannot get this color and it's gonna be super rare because it's more or less a 140 with a sunroof, unique color, salvage nation. This is how we're doing it. Hold on guys, before we continue with the paint prep, I noticed something that I've been putting off for ages. The airbox for the 118i, which is the chassis that I used, had a different type of mounting for the airbox. This airbox from the M140 mounts to the side right here. This is where it kind of connects onto that little piece right there. And I just need to weld that so that it kind of meets like so. Um, have a look at my hand guys, you have to be careful. I wasn't being careful. I got a nasty burn, it goes all the way up my arm. Um, I was bleeding the air from the cooling system one day and when I opened it, I didn't realize it was still under pressure and I had to shield my face. I could have I got burnt on my face, but yeah, I got a nasty burn all over my hand like so and it goes all the way up. But I just wanted to share that. Be careful when you're working on cars, but for now, Akil was working on the car yesterday and the welding machine is here, it's right next to the car. I've been practicing my welds. Um, this shouldn't need much. The original welds were just two little spot welds from the factory, so I should be able to do that. Tack it into place and yeah, just get that into place so that this stops rocking around like that. So let me do that first. Akil's not here yet, so we've got a bit of time. Let me get that sorted. Guys, so the mount is fitted, it's nice and solid, quick little fits. I, I went overboard with the welds, but I just didn't want to come back to this later on. Put a bit of primer on it, and when the car's getting sprayed, we can just put a little bit of the, we can color match it back to the original blue that's there. And no one needs to know, no one needs to see, but have a look, the mount is in place.
to guys, so there you have it. This episode, we managed to do quite a lot. We fixed that engine mount. We took the car on a proper rip. This thing is ripping, believe me. But in the future, I've got something to make this rip even more. Stay tuned to see what we do for that. On the top there, in that plastic, is something that I bought for a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving that away to one of you guys. This is the front bumper like you saw, we keyed that. I keyed the rear bumper, I keyed up everything. And all the prep for paint is completed in the next episode. I wanted to do it in this episode, but A, this episode has, it's, it's a bit long. And B, we've had a slight delay with some paint, but next episode, 100%, we're gonna get this car completed. Wow! In terms of bodywork, but the build is far from complete. If you wanna see how we get on with that, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. So like I always say, keep it moving. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, why don't you check out one of my previous videos on the left. There's plenty in the playlist. And if you want to know more about the Salvage Game, why don't you become a member of Salvage Nation and I'll be there to guide you along the way. And don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram if you want to get an inside scoop before YouTube.